As you know, keeping a job, no walk in the park these days. But there is growing evidence that if you do take a walk in the park or maybe do another outdoor activity, it could make your work day and therefore your time on the job a little easier. I'm very excited about this, <laughs> learning about this. Our early show contributor, Taryn Winterbrill, is here with more on the science of unwinding. Good morning, Taryn. Good morning, very interesting stuff. Well, 70% of American employees say the workplace is a significant source of stress, and 51% say job stress reduces their productivity. New research suggests when you take a time out, how and where you unwind can make all of the difference. Why does it say pepper jam when there is no pepper jam? I swear to God, one of these days I... I... It's one of those moments when you know you need a good old-fashioned timeout. But what's the best way to take it? When you do run away and you get a chance to get outside, how do you feel when you head back to the office? Better. Much better. You go outside for 10 minutes. Why not walk in the midst of a busy street as opposed to coming to a park? Um, because that's distracting. It somehow is more peaceful and restful. By taking a study break outside in nature, did you find that it helped your grades? Oh yeah, actually it did, I think very much. Um, I had one of my best semesters when I was out walking around the most. Stress is a ubiquitous thing. Psychiatrist Katherine Berndorf works with patients undergoing extreme stress. Do you want to open it to you? I think some people learn to live with the level of stress in their life and they get used to it. That doesn't mean it's not taking a toll on their body. Nature, whether it's live or on a canvas or in a book, can create the same sensation or experience for the brain. Research shows a 20% improvement in memory and attention after a short walk in a natural setting. And even sitting at your desk for 10 minutes looking at pictures of nature yields a bigger cognitive boost than walking down a busy street. Do you ever find yourself downloading pictures of nature in the office if you can't get outside? Um, yeah, actually my backdrop is a picture from my hometown. Uh, every day at about 9 or 10 Eastern time, we get this tremendous surge, this great spike in traffic. Brendan Hart works in the marketing department at National Geographic. He says their photography website gets over 60,000 hits a day. As they'll browse the photo of the day, they'll perhaps download a desktop wallpaper. These photos are inspiring people to go out and explore the world around them. Uh, they're setting a tone for the day. What's the point? The point is just to, you know, just to get away from your everyday drill. When you are engaged in a very kind of unconscious and relaxed way, you're not super focused and intensely looking at something that's causing you to have to work. So the brain can actually be relaxed. You can let yourself be a little more um, quiet and thoughtless in a good way. Indeed, and keep in mind, these stress-busting nature walks aren't just recommended for warm weather months. According to the research, some participants were asked to walk outside during a very cold Michigan winter, so you don't necessarily have to enjoy the walk to reap the benefits. <laughs> just get outside, 20 degrees, 15 degrees, just do it, and you'll relax. Uh, I can relax. say someone from Alabama, I don't think I'd enjoy it. I'll look at, I'm going to look at those nature <laughs> look at the photographs. Picture. Yeah, the photos. Yeah, yeah. I mean, how important is this, the, the, the mental health, actually, to your physical health? Is there any research It's very important, because if you have increased stress, stress rather increased health related costs. Those individuals that have high stress jobs on average visit doctors 30% more than individuals in low stress sort of work environments. So it's, this is a significant percentage. It's key. It's, it could change things for a lot of people. I'll tell you, yeah. it's very relaxing watching that piece. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for our moment of zen this morning. You're very welcome. My pleasure. <laughs>